He just got out of college and I, I played every single tournament I could play with Colombia. So I went to the World Cup, I went to the Olympics, I went to the South American Championship. I was talking to my best friend and we were like, hey, we've done so much and things haven't changed in the last 10 years. Like we have the same conditions or even worse. We should do something about it. So my friend says, let's do a video together and ju let's just be honest about what's going on uh, in the Federation. I was, and I was like, okay, let's do it. So we make this video, it went viral. We were just honest about our conditions. Like we had to play, pay for our own flights. We, have, we had all the uniforms. So the video went out and I didn't realize it was gonna be that big. Ha sido difícil, mucho miedo de hablar, mucho miedo de hacernos escuchar. But it actually was one of the most important moments in my life. I, in that moment, I felt like, wow, I can actually change things and, I, and my voice actually has a lot of power. Uh, so after that, I was called again to the national team. I won the Pan American Games with the team. We had the gold medal. Uh, so it was like, a revolution in, in my eyes just to be able to do it, to help uh, Colombian women's football grow a little bit at the time, uh, and just another affirmation that I have to keep doing these type of things and just being on honest. It, it, everybody was like, wow, you're so brave. Wow, how could you do that? And I was like, I was just being honest. I was just telling what was actually happening. And I, I don't think that's brave. I just think it should be normal. Uh, so yeah, that happened and I'm proud of it and I wish I could do it again. <laughs>